Hello everyone, today I will continue to tell to you about the rare earth metals, lanthanides, and this time we will focus on the metal called praseodymium. It's a metal that has electron in f orbitals and is located in the period of lanthanides. Because of its chemical activity, praseodymium is stored in ampules in order to prevent oxidation in air. After removing it from the ampule, praseodymium looks like a shiny metal with a yellow-green tint due to a layer of oxide covering the metal. Praseodymium can be found in nature in the monazite and basnazite minerals, which are used for producing almost all of the rare earth metals. Price-wise, praseodymium is almost the same as neodymium. I paid about $50 for 10 grams in a while. From the chemical point of view, Praseodymium can resemble neodymium, as it is also readily soluble in hydrochloric acid, forming praseodymium chloride, a green substance, like many of its compounds. Even the name praseodymium derived from the Greek prasinus, which means green. If we add sodium hydroxide to the praseodymium chloride, it will form a greenish precipitate of praseodymium hydroxide. This hydroxide, like many compounds of lanthanides, forms a soluble complex with trilon B, a compound that is used to remove scale from cattles. Praseodymium dissolves in acetic acid and, like other lanthanides, forms a suspension of the hydroxide due to the hydrolysis with water. When heating with a burner, pieces of praseodymium are oxidized in air and being covered with an oxide layer but they will not light up. True, the powder of praseodymium lights quite well, forming fumes from its oxides. The oxide of praseodymium is used in the production of a very unusual glass, which is able to slow down the speed of a light pulse by changing its groove velocity due to the high refractive index of the glass. Also, the glass made with the addition of praseodymium has a greenish-yellow color, it's used as a light filter in the glasses for glass blowers. Praseodymium, like neodymium, is weakly attracted to magnets and is permagnetic. However, as with neodymium, the composition of praseodymium iron boron can be used for the production of powerful praseodymium magnets. However, these magnets have a big drawback a low operating temperature, meaning that such magnets may lose their magnetic properties already at the temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, for example, in the hands of a person. Neodymium magnets, unlike praseodymium, are demagnetized at 55 degrees Celsius. Also, the alloy of praseodymium and nickel is used for creating ultra-low temperatures using the cooling effect of the paramagnetic field. Now you know a little bit more about one of the other metals. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.